Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Zell Dog, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make, that's right, breakfast, beef, chorizo, burrito. And these are the ingredients that you're going to need. Okay, I got some ginger right here, ginger paste. I have some garlic. This is like two cloves of garlic. I have a half an onion right there. And I have a whole bell pepper right here. And I have some tomatoes right here. This is one tomato. I have a lime. I have two of these tubes of um, chorizo. Let me see if I can tell you what that is. This is nine ounces. <clears throat> I have some butter right here. This right here is some cilantro and uh, a little garlic. Uh, I want to say a quarter teaspoon of garlic and a half of um, a jalapeno chopped up in there. All right. Now I'm going to be making pico de gallo with that. All right, you're going to need six eggs, six to seven eggs. You're going to need some cheese. Right here I have some cheddar cheese and I have some mozzarella. And right here is my potatoes. I'm draining those right now. I'll show you that up close. Those are the potatoes. We're going to deep fry those up. Alright guys, you're going to need some um, smoked paprika. You're going to need some salt, some granulated onion, and garlic with some olive oil. Alright, so let's go ahead and start putting this stuff together. I'll see you guys over there in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm just going to start prepping up our stuff first. We're going to put a little olive oil in here, just a little bit. We're going to do our uh, bell peppers first. The reason why I'm doing this and not mixing them together, because if you follow me, a lot of people in my family don't eat onions. So, so I'm, just, I'm not going to saute these up real good. I'm just trying to break them down just a little bit. We're not going to put any salt or anything in these or the onions or the um, garlic. So this shouldn't take no more than probably about maybe two minutes. I'm on medium heat and I'm just going to constantly stir this. See you guys when this gets done. Okay guys, I'm back. This is about how you want it. Just like that. Alright. I'm going to take these out. We do our onions. You guys, in a minute, you just give them a little char on them. That's it. All right, see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Took the bell peppers out. We're gonna put a little bit more olive oil in here, just like so. We're gonna give us a little butter in there. We building flavors, I'm telling you now. <laughs> you guys, you'll see what I'm talking about. Put our onions in there. Like so. We're gonna come in here with our garlic. Smell amazing, no doubt about it. We're gonna come in here with some good um, ginger paste, like a half a teaspoon, just like so. You're just making this stuff sweat pretty much. You just open it up, up these um, fresh herbs and stuff like that. So that's all we're doing, guys. All right, this is ready to come out, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna come in here, come in here with our chorizo. Now you see what I'm talking about building flavors. So all that stuff we cooked in there is just gonna make this flavorful. The 
of a pet. So, I'm going to break this up a little bit. That's the crown. I'm still on medium heat on everything. I'm just going to let this brown up. And then uh, we get started on them potatoes. We're going to deep fry those after they drain completely. Then we do our eggs. This is going to cook at least for about good. I wanted to cook for at least good five minutes. Okay. So um, just so you know. So I'll show you guys how that look when that get done. See you guys in a minute. Much love. Okay guys I'm back. I'm going to start working on the potatoes. I'm just take a little granulated um, onion powder. Like a half teaspoon. Granulated garlic. Another half a teaspoon. Smoked paprika. Much as you want guys. A lot of this stuff going to cook off it anyway. Okay, so this is probably about I don't know, maybe a teaspoon of this. Alright, now I got that in there. I'm just going to mix this around up in here. Should have had a bigger bowl so I could have uh, did it all at one time. I'm just going to add them in there. Alright, let's toss them around. Just like so. We're just going to sit this to the side, guys. We're going to deep fry these up. Mama tell you. But Let me go ahead and show you this pick of the gallo real quick. All right. We're going to take all these tomatoes, that whole tomato. We're going to put that in there. Take a little salt, just the crumb. That's enough. We're also going to zest some of this lime in here this gives a lot of tons of flavor guys and you can make this with a lemon too if you don't have a lime but the traditional way is with the um, lime I will leave a link to this uh, pico de gallo because I have made it many a times and it tastes super delicious Yep, that should be good enough. Cut this in half. Like so. Put it in my squeezer. And just squeeze it. That's it. Pico de gallo one on one. Just mix this together. Now, if you want to, you can put an onion in yours. Like I said, I'm not going to put no onions in there because um, my family don't like a lot of onions. So, what you could do, since you, if you have, like me and your family don't like a lot of onions, you can use some of this granulated onion right here. Sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Just mix it together. You want a spicier, you can put your little um, Tabasco sauce in it. I want all my stuff to be fresh, fresh. So we want to put this up in the refrigerator, guys. I'll let this finish marinating. All right. So that's your pico de gallo. All right. See you guys in a minute. Okay, we're back at the street, chorizo. See all that grease in there? We're going to drain that grease. Unless you want a soggy burrito. <laughs> Breakfast burrito. But we normally typically leave that grease in there and then we put our potatoes and onions and all that stuff in here. And then soak up in our um, potatoes. That's the traditional way. But we're making a burrito. Alright guys, let me go ahead and drain this and 
put this in the bowl, and I'll see you guys over at the deep fryer in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Put these potatoes in here, like so. And you know when you did it right, because you don't hear no popping. You just lower that down in there. Nice and slow, so that stuff, the season can coat on there. We're going to let that cook for about a good five minutes. And then start putting this stuff together. See you guys in a minute. So guys, I'm back. We're about to do our eggs. Put this olive oil in here. A little bit more butter. A little more teaspoon. And we're going to put this nice and slow. Slow. Okay, and low. <laughs> I mix these eggs up. Let me get room temperature. I'm just going to pour this in here while we mix it. Just like so. And if you've never watched any of my videos doing the eggs, what you want to do is um, pull it from the edge in all the way around like that and you tilt your things like that I'll show you one here's the thing you can see it start to form so you just push it in just like this guys that's how you get them fluffy eggs all right and you let it set up again that's all you do all right so I'm gonna go ahead and let that go and take these um potatoes out. I did drop them twice. First time is like blanching them and the next one is like making them crispy. Alright so those done. We're gonna work on these eggs once again and you don't salt these eggs until the end because they will sweat. Meaning um, the salt would bring out water moisture. We may need some more eggs. Just like that. And just tilt it. Now, this one you want to add your little salt. Just the crumb, because we got a lot of salt and other stuff. Okay? Just the dust. You want to add you some green lady onion and garlic if you want. That's what you want to do. You can do that as well. All right, that's done. Turn that off. That's all you're doing. Unless you want your fry super hard. This is the traditional way of cooking eggs. Should have been and did a video on that for you guys, huh? All right, that's how that looks. Nice and pretty, right? All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the bowl and my um, other stuff. And then I'll see you guys at the table in a minute. Okay, fam, I'm back. I just want to show you everything that we prepped up. These are the um, potatoes fried. This is the eggs. Of course, you know, I did, you know we did the cheese. Um cheddar and mozzarella the pico de gallo right here this is the beef chorizo right here my bell peppers and my onion and garlic with paste um ginger paste so we can go ahead and start making building this stuff up see you guys in a <clears throat> see you guys in a minute much love Okay, fam, I'm back. We're going to go ahead and put these breakfast beef chorizo burritos together. Take one of these out. Put that on the board. Come in here with some of this cheese, cheddar. Put it on there. Going to come in here with some uh, potatoes.
like so. I'm gonna come in here with our onions, sauteed up onions and garlic, sauteed um, bell peppers. We're gonna come in here with um, our meat. Probably like a good two tablespoons of meat. Or more, I mean if you want more on yours you can. I'm making like four of these. We're going to come in here with some um, eggs, like so. Then we're going to come in here with our pico de gallo. Much as you want guys, okay? Just putting stuff on here. Then we come with our white cheese. Put that on there. Wrap this bad boy up. A lot of food in there. And that's it. We're going to seal this up. I mean, not seal it up, but we're going to um, cook it in a skillet. Just to make sure everything's together. Alright, so I'll see you guys over there to skillet in a minute. Okay guys, there it is. Doing two of them at a time. You can take you some butter. Put it in there. That's what I did. I just like to um, butter mine up like so. We're just going to cook that to the brown. That's all. Alright, I'm on medium. Like on electric stove is before. So that's why I'm on. So we're just going to cook that up to all the way brown on each side. And I'll serve it up and show you guys how it looks. See you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I'm finally done with this breakfast beef chorizo burrito. And that's how that looks up close. So you guys can see the inside. I cut it one for you guys. Right. And it's off the chain. I ain't gonna even lie to you. So guys, if you like this recipe, please give me a like and a share. And please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit this bell. Just like so. Hit that bell so you too can be notified next time I upload another delicious recipe. And I'll see you guys next time. And thank you for watching. Much love. Yeah.